Yep, I grew up in Arlington, Massachusetts. Family influences in either sport? My mom is one of 10, the youngest of 10, and my dad's the second youngest of eight. So I always had older cousins playing sports. No one really played sports at a high level, but they, I was always the youngest kid. So I was always playing against older competition, which helped me get better a lot quicker than people that were my age. But other than that, just sports being something in my family, sports being something that the town did and got kids I hung around with did, uh, that's really where I developed the love for it. And I just tried to take it to the next level. I mean, uh, to be honest, it's every coach I've had has always helped me in a different way. Uh, every teammate I've had has helped me in a different way. I've always played baseball because uh, more or less I was I was good at it. It was it was something that kind of came natural to me, so to speak. And so uh, I just kind of developed over the years. I just I threw a football in high school a lot playing uh, you know, call uh, high school football, and that might have helped me with arm strength. But other than that, I mean, the pitching coach here, Chuck Rostano, um, a pitching coach by the name of Ace Adams back in high school, helped me out. Uh, and just the guy, the teammates that I've played with over the years, down the Cape League to high school to college, just and now in the in the Orioles affiliation, I've just they've always helped me, and I've just tried to be a sponge and, and soak up all the information that they have. When did you kind of elevate? on that level what was a key moment high school i, I developed uh, a lot i never i more played the field than pitched when i was in like seventh grade <clears throat> but then when i got to high school uh i just i grew a little bit um my arms got a little lankier i got a little stronger and uh the velocity just started to come where to the point <clears throat> of my senior year in high school i had to make a decision on whether i wanted to play professional baseball or play college baseball and uh with basketball uh being a, a big factor in my life, uh, college was just the best way to go. How do you think baseball helps you as a basketball player? Your pitching is a very cerebral, the thinking man's part of baseball, as it were, that you're very often a very underappreciated rebounder, but it's a very a great skill you have. And I, I think you're kind of like a sneaky rebounder. You, you're, you, you, you figure out the angles and how to play different guys. But how do you see your baseball transferring to your basketball? I think the, they do go both ways in a sense. I mean, uh, Baseball helps basketball just being a pitcher. You're on the mound. You're you're on an island. Literally, you're on the mound. You're on an island. So um, you got to figure out ways to to be successful. Whether you're you can't find the strike zone, whether your curveball's not working for you, or whether they're just they're just hitting the ball. You're running the ball right into the bat. You got to find a way to work out of it. Find a way to get out of jams. And um, you know that 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 says a lot about you. And I think when it translates to the basketball court, you got a, a whole team. You can get something back right away. As a pitcher, you give them a home run. Well. Uh, you got to figure out a way to, to get out of that that slump, and it might take a little bit. But um, I mean, I was I remember being on the free throw line in the Big East tournament, had to make two free throws to go into the to overtime, and as a freshman, and uh, the, I, it came back to pitching. I mean, being alone on the mound with the bases loaded, no outs, how are you gonna get out of the jam? Well, uh, it's a lot harder to get out of a no outs, bases loaded jam than it is to make two free throws. Jeff Samarja's brother is your agent, Sam Samarja. So you, you obviously know Jeff pretty well, I'd imagine. I don't know if you've, you guys have compared notes about your two sport careers, but what's your perspective on what Jeff was able to do, and did he give you any advice, or have you guys compared notes on on what he's gone through and what you're you're trying to do as well, and what you you both did here? Jeff through Sam, a mixture of everything has have helped me a lot. Now, um, uh, just uh, the whole experience that they'd already gone through with, excuse me, football and baseball and all that sort of stuff really helps just because you know uh at the end of the day you have to look at it realistically you have to make a realistic decision on what you're better at and what you're going to be able to play for longer and uh that whole thing and i think that's something that uh, i'll come down to at the end of this year and uh, i've kind of followed jess path he pitched uh for the the cubs affiliates over the summer uh, of his junior year going into his senior year of football and you know i'm doing the same thing i'm in it right now i haven't gotten to the decision point where where he had and what he's already done so i think i'll lean on him more as that come that time comes i was trying to think of some names jeff samarja charlie ward yep Bo Jackson, obviously, Deion Sanders, Russell but Wilson. Russell Wilson, uh, Jameis Winston, yep. of course. But none of them have the combination of the two sports that you do. They're all football, baseball, or football, basketball. And, and it, is there anyone that, that you can think of that was like an all-conference level pro prospect recently? You know, like Dave Winfield was a great, uh, I think, in all three back in the day. Anyone kind of like a... A hero to you in that regard. Sometimes the player plays baseball and basketball, but they're not quite on the same level in both. Something that I've kind of had to make my own path in. I've kind of used all those guys that you mentioned um, to help me, you know, learn about it, even though it was a different sport, football, baseball. Um, 
but uh, it's kind of been my own path. There was a, a kid that uh, I play in the same AAU program as. His name's Cooper Ainge. His dad, Danny Ainge, uh, played both basketball and baseball professionally. So uh, I've used uh, that connection a little bit. But for the most part, um, you know, each story is different. Each each player's perspective, each player's journey uh, is unique in its own way. So uh, you got to listen. You got to you got to really take people that have been through it and and learn from them. But at the same time, you got to be able to to write your own path and you got to figure out how, what you want to do uh, on your own. Uh, you know, I think for me, uh, I've been playing two sports my whole life, so I would have been kicking myself if I didn't see both of them through. Um, at the same time, you got to look at it realistically. I think uh, at the end of my sports playing uh, career, whatever that may be, I'll probably be playing baseball somewhere. Hopefully, um, hopefully for the Orioles, hopefully in the, the major leagues. But uh, uh, at the same time, right now, I'm just kind of playing both, seeing how it goes, seeing what happens at the end of the season. If there's NBA interest, maybe uh, I'll, I'll look towards that and, um, um, you know, keep my arm loose, keep baseball there and, and see what happens. Or if there's not, then uh, I'm perfectly happy with settling down and playing baseball and really taking it to the next level and, and showing people that when I focus at it, when I really devote my life to, to one of these sports, that I'm going to make a jump that I don't think a lot of people see coming. For you, what is more impressive combination to be like an All-American or All-Conference baseball in both as a pitcher and a hitter, or to be an All-American in baseball as a pitcher and then a quarterback, or All-American in, in baseball and um, and basketball. What's like the, the trickiest combination there? Uh, I have the most respect for, for quarterbacks that play both. Now, not just playing both, though, being successful at both. Uh, I think playing quarterback myself in high school and, and looking briefly at colleges as a quarterback, um, there's a lot that goes into it. You have to you have to study. You have to know what everyone on your team's doing and what everyone on the other team's doing on the defense side of things. Uh, and then you have to perform. You have to have the skills to perform. You have to be able to play under pressure, and you have to literally be able to stand in the pocket when there's guys trying to, uh, you know run over you and, and deliver a pass. And so um, to be able to do that, do all the things that they do, and then to also be able to succeed at another sport is, is probably one of the more impressive things that, that I've seen. Now, there are some quarterbacks that are just great athletes that can play two sports, and uh, playing them is one thing, but being successful at them is another. So big fan of Charlie Ward then, back in the day? Yeah, yeah very much so. I was, uh, especially the way he did, I mean, he came right out of, uh, being a quarterback right into basketball season. And so, uh, and he was a professional at basketball. He was very successful in football, but he was a professional basketball player. So uh, I'd have nothing but the utmost respect for him. And, and, and I mean, Deion Sanders did it. Bo Jackson played both in, in the professional realm. So uh, just being purely successful at two sports rather than just playing two sports is something that I've always admired. And speaking of, we, we just have to ask, speaking of Florida State quarterbacks, since it's the big week of the football game and obviously Jameis Winston and you Coach was joking how that you um, you, you dunked on Jabari Parker and struck out Jameis Winston in the same in the same school year. Um, uh, just your thoughts on on Jameis his multi sport and I don't know if you ever like chatted with them or if that if that came up where you guys were able to interact during the series last year. Yeah, we interacted for for a brief period of time during the series, and you know I, I wish nothing but the best for Jameis. Uh, uh, I was able to get the better of him in, when he batted versus me. Uh, uh, three times actually, but uh, I, I think he's a he's a good kid. I think he means well. I think he just needs some guidance, and that's something that you know we all do. And, and uh, uh, I hope he gets it because he's a great talent and he's he's a he's a hell of a football player. Pat, thanks a lot. I really appreciate you taking the time. No problem. Thank awesome. you.